Right, let me just um, tell you a few things here. And I just want to say a big thank you to Andy Goff, who's in the audience somewhere. I don't know where he is. Um, you should meet Andy Goff. He works at ConnectEd, is his business. He now has the inter uh, interactive learning experience. Andy works a lot with industry, particularly the gaming industry, to look at which, uh, ways in which gaming can be used within schools. Um, he's given me some really great examples. As a primary school, um, Kirk Listen Primary School, uh, they uh, were given a set of PSPs. Do you know what PSPs are? PlayStation Portable. Yes? Okay. They were given a set of PSPs and there was um, a package on the PSPs, an interactive package called Sums Maths. And what they found was that they had significantly increased results for the children at the end of this particular pilot that they did, particularly the hard to engage children, particularly the hard to engage boys who had never shown um, an interest in, in maths really at all. So not only were they seeing an increase in, in, in results, but they were also seeing an increase in engagement. The kids were coming into the lesson saying, oh, I was really looking forward to this lesson. This is good fun. Um, we have um, evidence, um, beautiful evidence, from um, uh, a school, Saw Valley College, with older young kids um, and looking at design and technology, um, a wonderful sequence where kids are learning about the solar system. Do you know what these are, by the way? Do you know what that is? It's a... It's a QR code, congratulations. It's a QR code, it's a quick response code. So what you can, this is actually my QR code. Jack, 12 years old, last night, he, while he was downloading an album on iTunes, he made this for me. If you scan this, you will get information about how you can um, connect to me, how you can find out my email address and la la la. So I'll leave it here if anyone wants to have any kind of relationship with me, not you, Nigel. Um, you can scan it and, um, and, and use it to, uh, to, to, to have a dialogue with me. So these QR codes, they're great. So basically you can make one in seconds. But what this particular school did, they were doing some work around the solar system and they built 3D models of the planets. They then created a way that those 3D models, the data around those models could be, um, could be put into a QR code. Then the kids came in with their, with their, I think they were using PSPs, but you can, use, you can use a phone, you can use anything, a smartphone. And by putting it, putting your scanning over the QR code like that, suddenly the planets were revolving around these kids in the room. It's absolutely brilliant. These are kids who, again, often were hard to reach. And the reports from schools that do these pilots and other reports, back to reports, um, rest in peace, Bector, but Bector reports around the use of technology in schools shows that also you get an increase in attendance. So um, what do we need to do? Well, I think we need to just chill out, grow up and settle down. I think we need to remove our risk-based thinking. We have children who are raised in captivity in this country. You barely see a free-range child on the streets these days. When you do, you just want to take it home and fatten it up for Christmas. Um, children are raised in a risk-averse culture. We do not allow our children outdoors because of an overblown paranoia that they will be snatched and worse. So where are children doing their childhood? They're doing it online. They're doing it online and we're not thinking about how we can enable them to do it, not just safely, but also in a way that's really going to enhance their thinking, their learning, their being and their development. I'm not suggesting that technology is the answer to everything, but I am suggesting if you have a group of kids that you're struggling to engage, think about some very simple ways you can engage them with the technology that they, that they possess. You don't even need to go out and buy loads of new technology.